Hey guys, it's Michael Morgan and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I have a lot of projects planned out like this that you do not want to miss. Today we're going to be doing a really fun DIY project merging two of the hottest trends of the spring right now. I know you guys have been seeing mules everywhere this season and I wanted to merge that trend along with the Vans classic slip on trend that you also see everywhere on Instagram. So if you want to know how I did this, just keep on watching. So first things first, you're going to need a pair of bands, any small plate and utensil to use the edge, some E6000 glue, an X-Acto knife, and a pair of scissors. We're going to start by taking the X-Acto knife and cutting off the entire back portion of the heel. You want to be very careful when using this X-Acto knife because it is very sharp and cuts through the shoe like butter. So you want to take your time so this DIY doesn't cost you any fingers. There are a couple more layers on this back part here, so you want to make sure you go as slow as possible just so you can get a clean cut. Also, try not to cut any rubber off the sole. You'll understand why when we're all finished. So now that we have that done, you have a choice. You can actually wear it just like this. I mean, it's a cute sandal to pop out for a barbecue, or you can not listen to me and keep watching before I have you out here looking crazy. Anyway, this is what it should look like on the inside. It looks a little bit messy, but we're gonna clean that right up. Next thing you're gonna do is just take your scissor and cut this strap down the middle. Now we're going to cut out the guts from the remainder of the heel and I like to start off with the seam that's already there. Make sure that you're only cutting from the inside of the shoe and that the knife isn't going straight through the outside. This part can be a little bit tricky so just watch closely. So now that that's all done, it should look something like this. You want to also dust out all the debris from the inside so you have a clean space to work on. So this is the edge that you're going to want the cleanest, so you're going to take your X-Acto knife and just try to cut off any excess fabric that you see without cutting off the rubber from the sole. I actually like to cut on an angle just so I'm not touching any part of the sole, I'm just cutting off the inside excess.
Okay, so this part's pretty easy. All you're gonna do is eyeball about an inch down from the seam and just make a little slit. Then you're gonna cut down diagonally, kind of more parallel to the slanted direction of the seam. So after you've got that done, just cut off the rest, fold it in, and you'll actually start to see the shoe come together. Now repeat everything we just did on the other side. This is what it should look like so far. I like to cut these little tabs off just so you don't have too much fabric inside the shoe. We're now going to take this curved edge here and cut it to make it straight so it fits into the shoe without being visible from the outside. Fold the tips in so they're touching the inside sole of the shoe and you should end up with something just like this. At this point, this is just a rough draft on how the shoe will look once it's finished. We just have to glue everything into place. So before we start gluing anything down, you just want to make sure this back part is clean. Like I said before, you want to cut on an angle just so you're not cutting off any part of the sole. Now here comes the fun part! We're going to start gluing it down, but first we have to make sure the area is clean so we're not gluing down any debris. You'll be applying the glue here on this inner part of the shoe. It'd be a lot easier to apply the glue directly on the shoe, but I poured it onto a plate and used the back end of a spoon to kind of brush it on. The choice is entirely up to you. You want to use a generous enough amount on each side without getting too much on the sole. This glue does take a while to dry so don't worry if you put a little bit too much, you can just wipe it right off after. After that's all glued, you're going to fold it in and hold it down for about a minute. You want to press it as tight as possible so that there's no gaps or bubbles between the fabric and the sole. Wipe off any excess glue that comes out. This is how it should look once it's all pressed down. Now let's speed things up and go ahead and take care of the other side. You're going to hold down both sides together for about a minute. Since this glue does take a lot longer to dry than like hot glue, I'm going to put these weights down so I don't have to sit there the entire time. I gave it about 24 hours before I wore them just to give them a good chance to dry. Once that timer is up, I'm ready to get a look together to wear with my new and improved slip-on vans. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did doing this DIY. This can be a very easy project. You just have to take your time and follow the steps and you should be fine. I actually really want to see how yours come out. So make sure you tag me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael Morgan and I'll make sure I show you some love. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking so you guys can start working and I will see you in the next video. Peace.